Welcome to RK Tutorials. Solutions to Engineering Mechanics by S. Timushenko Textbook. In this tutorial, we will solve problem set 2.4 and problem number 2.46. A roller of weight W is equal to 4450 newtons rests on a smooth inclined plane and is kept from rolling down by a string as shown. Using method of projections, find the tension S in the string and the reaction RB at the point of contact B. That means there is a roller kept on an inclined plane, but it is prevented from rolling by a string like this. AC is a string. Our interest is to find the force that, are, that is developed in the string AC and also the reaction force that developed at this surface. Now, let us see what are the various forces that are acting on the roller. The first force is self-weight, W. Next force is the force along the string. We initially assume that the force is a tensile force and it is always acts away from the point of observation. Hence, the force is along string and the magnitude is, let us say, S. Next one is the reaction force at point B. So this is the reaction force or B, which is perpendicular to this surface. Let us transfer all these three forces onto a separate XY plane for easy analysis. Now, if you extend this RB, this will meet at point C. That means all these three forces are concurrent forces. So first force I am transferring the self-weight W that is given that 4450 newtons. Next force is S. Next force is RB. I transferred all these three forces onto XY plane. But S and RB are the inclined forces. I need to find the angles made by S and RB with either x-axis or y-axis. Now, first let us discuss RB. RB is a line perpendicular to this inclined surface and this inclined surface makes an angle 45 degrees with the horizontal. Hence, this RB makes an angle 45 with the vertical. If it is 45 with the vertical, it is also equals to 45 with the horizontal. Hence, I can say RB makes an angle 45 with the horizontal. Next, S force. We know that this inclined force makes an angle of 45 degrees with the horizontal. So this angle is given as 45 degrees. This angle is given as 45 degrees. Hence, this angle is also equals to 45 degrees. I want to find the angle made by this string with the horizontal. That means this angle I want to find. So the total angle is 45 given that this is 50. So this angle is equal to 30 degrees. That means the S force makes an angle of 30 degrees with the horizontal. Let us divide these forces along its components, X and Y components. The first force is vertical force 4450, need not to resolve because it is a vertical force. RB makes an angle 45 degrees with the horizontal. So you can resolve this force along x-axis and y-axis. And x-axis component is RB cos 45. Y-axis component is RB sin 45. S force makes an angle 30 degrees with the horizontal. So I can resolve this force along x-axis. The x-axis component is S cos 30. Y-axis component is S sin 30. So these are the all four forces acting along x and y axis. And since the total system is under equilibrium, net force along x axis is zero, net force along y axis is zero. First, let us consider the net force along x axis. There are only two forces, both are acting in the opposite direction. Hence, I can say RB cos 45 is equal to S cos 30. And upon simplification, you will get RB is equal to 1.2247 yes. Similarly, net force along y-axis is zero. There are two forces acting along x-axis and only one force is acting along downward direction. There are two forces acting along upward direction and only one force is acting along downward direction. Hence, I can say RB sin 45 plus S sin 30 is equal to 4, 4, 
0.50. But we know that Rb is equal to 1.2247s. You can substitute here. Hence, it becomes 1.2247s sin 45 plus s sin 30 is equal to 4450. And you can uh, further you can simplify and you will get 1.366s is equal to 4450 or the s value you will get 3257.7 newtons. And you can substitute this s value here to get the value of Rb. So from equation 1, Rb is equal to 1.2247s. Upon substituting, you will get the value of Rb, 3989.7 newtons. Hence, S is equal to 3257.7 newtons and Rb is equal to 3989.7 newtons are the answers for this problem.